So today, you're going to be creating your self-portrait. And today, we're just going to be creating the beginning. Thursday and Friday, we're going to be finishing them. But today, you're going to be making the head and the hair. A self-portrait is an image of you created by you. And here are some examples of how they're going to look. If you notice, the hair is painted paper, the head is painted paper, and the background is painted paper. Collage is cutting and gluing paper together. Today we will cut our head, we will collage our head, neck, and ears. Texture is the way something looks, feels. So here's real texture. You can see there's ruffles and yarn and rope and a basketball and chippy paint and bricks. And this is visual texture. That's how you would draw it. You can use lines to draw your hair's texture. You can use straight lines, wavy lines, curly lines, coily lines, all different kinds of lines to draw people's hair because we all have different kinds of hair. And we all have different textures and styles. These are some different styles of hair. This looks kind of like my hair right here, or this on a very messy day. So this is what we're gonna end up looking like at the end of today. So this is what you're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna show you how I made my head. The first thing I did was I took my color paper skin and I folded my paper in half. And then on the back side of my paper, from the bottom of the paper, I drew a rainbow. I think I made my rainbow a little too tall and you'll notice that I end up trimming it. And then on the other side of the paper, at the using the bottom so I have straight lines, I make two little rainbows for the ears. And then I cut them out. First I cut my paper in half so it's easier to manage, and then I cut them out. That was strange, wasn't it? Some extra sound in there that I don't even know where it came from. So there's one ear. And there's the other ear. And you can see my head looks a little bit long. And then I'm gonna cut out just a rectangle for the neck. And you can see how it's beginning to come together. Then I put that paper aside and I might need it a little bit later. Then I take my favorite color paper that I used, which I decided was purples and pinks, and I lay it all out. I'm not going to glue it down yet until I'm ready to glue all of my pieces together. But I lay them out. And you can see my head is a little bit long. So I'm gonna to decide to trim it after I put my hair on. Then I take my hair pieces, my hair color, and I start cutting up pieces for my hair. And my hair is short, so I have to think about what is it gonna look like? And I cut it up into small, more manageable pieces. And I start cutting curves because my hair is kind of curvy in some places. And I start laying it out so it looks like my hair. And I think to myself, that is a really long head I have. What can I do to fix that? Because I'm an artist and a problem solver. 
So what can I do? Because I want to show that I have spikes at the big of my, at the top of my head because I have spiky hair. So you're going to see what I do to solve that problem. So I'm starting to make the spikes at the top of my hair. And I'm thinking, oh gosh, that looks very, very long. What should I do? So I decide, ha, huh, I'm going to make my head a little bit shorter. And I just chop off top of my head. And there it all fits now. So I was problem solving while I was working. Once I get all of my pieces in place and the way I like them, then I can glue them all down. And that's where we're going to stop for today. Now. If you're in hybrid and you go to school on tomorrow, you're going to bring this with you with some construction paper tomorrow to school.